Okay, so 10 things you should know before adopting a cat. I get this question a lot about should I adopt a cat? Um, am I ready? What all do I need to do? So these are gonna be the 10 main things to know before adopting a cat. As you know, I have Kurtz. He's not technically adopted from like a shelter, but I took him in. He's not bought from a breed or anything, so it's still required being adopted basically. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over these 10 things to ask yourself. Um, hopefully this can help you um, come to a decision. So yeah, let's get into it. Should I adopt an adult or a kitten cat? This is actually a good thing to consider. So it's gonna depend on your lifestyle and your home environment and that kind of stuff to determine whether you want to adopt a kitten or an adult cat. Kittens require a lot of care and attention. It's gonna be a whole lot more than an adult cat would obviously need. They are very high energy. They can get into trouble while playing. They want to play a lot. They want you to hold it. They want attention. They need to get spayed or neutered at some point. So that's gonna cost just different things to consider that go along with the kitten that's probably already been done in the adult cat like vaccinations all that kind of stuff so on the adult side it's gonna take them longer to get used to living in your home kittens are a little bit more adaptable to that because they don't know much but an adult cat they've probably lived somewhere else before out in the street something like that they're gonna take longer to get used to your house and it's gonna take them longer to get settled in. Adult cats don't need as much supervision. They're gonna be a whole lot more calm and relaxed, not super high energy depending on the cats. And also a good thing about getting an adult cat is you can kind of get a sense of their personality because they're already developed. They already have their personality. You can kind of see it and see if it's gonna match. Um, you can see if they're high energy, see if they're relaxed, see if they're cuddly, all that kind of stuff. A kitten, a little bit more unpredictable because it is a kitten. You have no idea what their personality is. Now, keep in mind, adult cats might be a little bit more timid at a shelter and a little bit more shy, rightfully so. So still give them a chance. I see them all the time in shelters and it just, oh, I wanna take them all home. It breaks my heart. Okay, number two, do I have a good lifestyle to fit a cat? So this is gonna go into being there day to day. Um, a cat requires a lot of care and attention. So if you're traveling a ton, you're not at your house a lot, um, still make sure you're gonna be there at some point during the day. A cat doesn't need to just be alone all the time. I guess the broader answer would be if you're gone all the time, you travel a ton and you know you never can make your way home, I wouldn't suggest getting a cat. But if you're going to be there, then 100% get one. Uh, you just have to be ready to take care of another family member. A cat is a family member. I mean, when I got Kurtz, it was at the it was at the end of 2019, my senior year of high school. I was home all the time and then COVID hit and quarantine and all that stuff. We were together all the time, 24-7. So I think that's also why we have such a close bond. But just make sure your lifestyle is suitable to take care of a cat. Don't just like be spontaneous and just get one and then be like, oh, I can't take care of it. So yeah, that's number two. Number three, will my lifestyle support a cat in the long run? So the reason I put this on here is because it's not just um, a little pet that you're gonna have for a little bit. It can be a long-term commitment. You need to think about little years in advance, think about where you're gonna be, where you wanna be, all that kind of stuff. You know, if you're going to college or something and you're not allowed to bring your cat, I mean, unless you have a family that can take care of them, that's different, but it's just thinking in advance to where like, say you're about to be deployed to another country, or you're about to move away for a really long time. You probably don't need to get a cat. It's just something that kind of leaves people's minds a lot of times. They kind of just forget about that. Hey, this could be um, someone you, or something you take care of for a really long time. So you just need to make sure you are prepared for that. Number four, this is a good one. This is a big one. Is my house or home suitable for a cat? You know, you do have to be a little extra and a little bit more careful when it comes to, you know, different chemicals, harmful foods that, you know, the cat can't get into. Kind of just cat proofing your home, making sure, making sure breakable things aren't just out. So make sure you do cat proof your home before adopting a cat. This could, uh, also includes chargers, uh, strings, different things that the cat can get tangled up on or tangled up in, just different stuff. You have to think about these kind of things because freak accidents happen and also cats are very curious and sometimes if there's something you're confused, or if you don't know, if you're like, oh, I wonder if my cat could be around this, just look it up. Look for it at multiple places, make sure it's not just at one place, but yeah, cat proofing your home or just the space that you live in is very important before adopting a cat. Also, um, cat proofing your home isn't just taking things out, it's also bringing things in for the cat. This would be scratching post, toys, get toys a lot of people kind of just forget about toys sometimes and then you just have 
a cat that has nothing to play with and they'll probably end up attacking you because they just want something to play with. I mean, not attacking you viciously, but you know what I'm saying. Also make sure they can't escape easily. You know, if you tend to leave your windows open a lot, probably need to get out of the habit of that. Open doors if you tend to open your doors a lot and leave them open. Just different things like that you just need to be mindful of so your cat doesn't get out and you know, that can lead to some bad things. But yeah, cat proofing your home and making it a suitable place for them to live. Number five, and one that I am also in the process of wondering myself. So I am here with you on this one. It's will my pets get along with the cat? Will my other pets or my other cats, whatever, if I bring another cat in, how are they gonna get along? So if you have another adult cat, it would probably be easier for you to adopt a kitten because it's gonna be easier for them to get along rather than bringing an adult cat home to another adult cat because that Cats are very territorial and that might bring a sense of threatening in. You know, your cat that you already have might feel threatened. This also depends on your cat itself. So your cat's super chill and super relaxed and has had other cats around them, like your friend's cats or something like that. Then you'll have a better idea. The reason, there are some people like me where Kurt's never been around another cat um, and he only just absolutely tears up his stuffed animal that looks like him, where I'm a little skeptical. I'm like, I don't know if he's gonna like another cat around. So it's things where um, you have to just go off your cat's personality or your other pet's personality, whether it's a dog or something like that. Also, if it is a dog and you're bringing home a kitten, be aware, a kitten's very fragile. So a dog, depending on their weight and size and how playful they are, might accidentally hurt the kitten. So just be very mindful of that because that is something that happens a lot, unfortunately. Number six, should I adopt one or two cats? So if you're considering maybe adopting another one in the future, why not go ahead and adopt both of them at the same time. Say it's two kittens or two adult cats that are already a bonded pair. A lot of shelters have where there's two adult cats or it could be kittens where you can only adopt both of them at the same time because they came from the same litter, they've grown up together, that kind of thing. They have energy together, they can play with each other, they're never alone even if you leave. So if you have the option and have the choice, two is always gonna be better than one. I say always. Two is better than one in most cases other than if it's a special case where um, it's a cat that needs to be by itself, the shelter. Sometimes they have certain diseases where they don't need to be around other cats. So it's case to case, which you can find out, but if it's just an average case of should you get one or two and you're considering getting two, why not get two? Okay, number seven, this one's very, very simple and easy, but it's something to consider. And a lot of times people don't know, do you or someone else that lives with you have cat allergies? If you've never had a cat, you might not know that you have it. If you've never been around a cat, you might not know that you have it. Some cat allergies are not as severe as others. You literally might not know. So you need to figure that out and also make sure anyone else that's gonna be around the cat a lot does not have cat allergies because that's just not good for anyone involved. Okay, number eight is do I know enough about cat behavior? So. If you've never owned a cat before, just know every cat is different. It depends, their behaviors depend on a lot of things like where they were born, um, how they grew up, if they grew up around people or other cats or their socialization, all that kind of stuff. It all depends. Their behavior develops from that. Oftentimes cats can be very independent. Um, on the other hand, cats can be very playful. It really, really just depends. You know, your question might be, do I know enough? But no one knows because you just don't know what your cat's gonna behave like. So know that you're not gonna know and welcome it in no matter what. So number nine, am I financially stable enough to own a cat? Owning a cat can be very expensive. It can be costly. You have to be financially prepared to take care of it its whole life. Like I mentioned earlier, that could be up to 20 years a ton of different things that you're gonna have to get most likely. Not most likely, you're gonna have to get these things. Litter box, you're gonna have to get. You're gonna have to get litter weekly or monthly depending on how much you get or how many cats. Food, toys, if they tear up, you're gonna have to get new toys. Scratching posts might tear up. Different places for them to climb. Vaccinations, if they have to get vaccinated, spayed or neutered, if they have to get neutered. And also vet visits. Vet visits add up, trust me, if you're super, super, caring of your cat and just freak out about everything like me, your cat might throw up and you take it to the vet and then have to pay $700 for taking him to the vet. So that is just something to consider as well because that kind of stuff happens, but it also just depends on, I guess, how much you really care about uh, your cat throwing up like I did. 
And since Kurt did have that visit to the vet, he is on prescription food and prescription food is way more expensive than regular food. So that's something to consider. You have your adoption cost, which is usually like 50 to $100 depending on the cat and depending on the shelter. I would suggest compiling a list of these things and adding them up over the years and however old the cat is and just kind of have an idea to know if you're able to financially support the cat all throughout those years. Okay, 10, the final one, where do I adopt a cat? So there is endless, endless places you can adopt a cat, okay? You have PetSmart, Petco, animal shelters, all these things. You have two different types of animal shelters. Just obviously you need to look into the group and make sure they took care of the cat. Um, you also have rescues. There are rescues, not necessarily animal shelters, but rescues that have cats that you can take. Kurt is a street cat. So, I mean, asking around is always good too. You never know if someone knows of a cat, um, has a cat, maybe their cat had cats and they're giving them away or they had kittens, that kind of thing. So just asking around and um, paying attention. And lastly, if after these 10 questions, you still don't know if you're ready, um, a great option is you can foster a cat. If you foster, it means you're just taking care, care of it for a little bit of time. And that gives you an idea of if a cat is fit for you or if you were fit for a cat. Uh, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments if there's any questions or anything like that. Let me know if you want me to make another video like this about something, another topic to do with cats, anything like that. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Thank you. Do, do